Here's a picture of the globe with GDPs um, it, as to whether what the growth rate of GDP is by country. Red means not good, green means okay. We like the way we, we do these nice color codings, it works. Uh, we're going into the third quarter, the greener the country, the higher the growth rate. Um, I don't agree with the Mexico picture on here. And red shows that Argentina is in trouble. Uh, Mark Sanford has a job ahead of him. He can go back to, to Argentina and straighten out the economy. The other reason why we begin to think that the economy is in recovery is this graph, which I'm going to have to tell you what's going on in here. This is the four-week moving average of new unemployment insurance claims. This track has tracked the recovery of the economy very well, beginning with the recession of 1969. What happens is when the, when the four-week average of new claims starts dropping, it's rare that you get a second dip into the recovery. And you'll notice that for the past three weeks, the total, the number of new claims being filed for unemployment, this is nationwide, has been dropping and dropping fairly steadily. In my grumpier moments, I look at it and say, well, that's because there's no one left to lay off. Uh, but I do think that that's something uh, which can take place. However, what's really scary about this particular graph is look at how damn high the thing is. We still have on the order of 400,000 to 500,000 new unemployment insurance claims coming in each week. Uh, and it's not really, we aren't going to really uh, get to a very sustain, a sustainable um, uh, growth rate in the economy until we get down to the 400,000 level. So there's still some challenges that, that remain in the labor market. In fact, this is a more localized view. Uh, this shows, shows you how we've gone from, a, from an average of almost 650,000 filings a week as a nation. We're now down to 550,000 a week. And when we get down to 400,000, that we begins to, to see, make a difference in the economy. But here are a couple things to remember. In 1990, the recession lasted nine months and it took employment markets 32 months to gain back every job we lost during the re that recession. In 2001, the recession lasted nine months. It took 48 months to recover every job lost in the recession. We are now in month 23 or 24, depending on how you count, it's beyond my fingers and toes, uh, in this recession. It's going to hold thing wolf lasted 24 months. So when are we going to fully recover employment? My guess is that this reset, that employment is going to take 60 months or almost five full years to recover. That means we won't gain back to the total number of jobs we had at the start of the recession until 2013. This poses all kinds of political questions because we've got this little event called an election in 2012 that's non-trivial. It also means that at a national level, we're going to have to do a public policy pivot, and pivoting quickly is something that Washington's not good at. What's the pivot? We have to continue finding ways to put stimulus in this economy for the rest of 2010. Then in 2011 to 2012, we're going to have to ruthlessly go after the deficit and start working down the amount of federal debt we have, which means that the federal government's going to have to increase taxes. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We have to get our fiscal house in order or start humming nice songs about Argentina because that's what can happen. We can't fight inflation now. We can't uh, really worry about what's happening with the value of the dollar now. In fact, for Ohio, having a weak dollar is a very good thing. But what we have to do is make certain that Washington's mature enough so it can do the pivot in 2012 and at the latest in 2013. And it's difficult for all of us in the room to say that increasing taxes is going to be a good thing, but it's going to be a fiscal necessity. We can, if we get the, this two-part dance, two dance wrong, this is a very, very thready week recovery. It's very easy to throw, it'll be easy to throw the, this uh, economy back into recession again. What would I like to see Washington to do? Well, it's something that I suggested to some friends of mine in the National Economic Council three weeks ago that was met with a snort, so I thought I got it right. Uh, what I really would like to see Washington do is to take over the unemployment compensation tax system completely and the growth of Medicaid Medicare until we end up with, at, at an unemployment rate of about 5%. That gets money in the pockets of the right people. It keeps money, keeps keeps, keeps the economy moving, and it also means that the states aren't going to have to do have to do terrible gymnastics next year to balance their budgets and take all that same spending out of the economy. 
We'll see what Washington ends up doing. I am very much afraid that all this highly targeted stimulus spending is the fiscal equivalent of crack, and it's going to be very difficult to take it away from constituencies that like the free federal money, and particularly in areas of energy, uh, and, and suddenly have to meet market rates very, very quickly. But I'm an economist. I'm a grown. I can find the dark lining in any silver cloud, and if you give me a dark lining to a dark cloud, I get to charge double. So I'm in hog heaven. 